hi welcome back to my channel welcome to another video we are finally getting around to filming my second year uni house tour i will preface this with it's not quite finished you will see uh it's also not the most luxurious house you've ever seen in your life but I'm a uni student, so I don't really know what else you were expecting. But yeah, there's some bits that aren't finished, but we've been in here for a month now, so I couldn't really put it off much longer, to be honest. I don't know where to start this video. I want to start it outside, but I'm a bit scared about going out there because a lot of uni students live around here, and if someone sees me filming this, I'm going to be really embarrassed. So we're just going to start at the front door. So yeah, it's a four-bedroom house, but there is only three of us living here. You will see why when you see the fourth bedroom because it's not livable. We pay £1,400 rent a month, not including bills. Obviously, in other places of the country, you could definitely get a house for that price a lot nicer. But technically, this is a uni of London, even though we're definitely not in London. So, and also we're really close to Virginia Water, which is like one of the most expensive places in the country. So that's why it's pretty expensive for what it is. But anyway, I will show you. So, okay, so you walk in and this, this is our corridor, what do you call it, hallway. Um, it's dirty because our hoover doesn't work. And this is the first door on the right and it's just a little downstairs toilet really tiny these pipes are so attractive and this sink is like a foot off the floor it's really weird anyway walk in through the corridor and you walk into our kitchen it's pretty good size to be honest i mean there's like a lot of counter space this is very random so we have a mini fridge here and a mini fridge here and then in the lounge is a big fridge. Doesn't really make much sense, but I don't know. that's how it's laid out and it's quite good. Like there's so much fridge space, not enough freezer space though. Cause there's only one little freezer, but anyways. Stove, obviously oven. This is my favorite thing in the house. My Nespresso machine, microwave. That's my iced coffee from earlier that I haven't washed up yet. Um, washing machine is in the kitchen and then this little storage space and then obviously storage space downstairs no nope, not downstairs down here and this looks out into our garden and if you can tell that is our back gate that is really well attached and hanging off its hinges so anyone want to walk in feel free i will show you the kitchen i'll show you the garden a little bit better out of these doors but this is how the lounge like attaches to the kitchen so it's pretty open floor obviously got this little like walkway here and then the wall there so it's like half and half i mean it's basically the same room but this is what the lounge looks like obviously bins there l-shaped sofa which is really nice um a little coffee table it's not actually a coffee table it's like a i mean it's i don't know cabinet thing but we use it as a coffee table very interesting wallpaper which is very badly applied but whatever our dining table and four chairs, obviously. Beautiful curtains that uh, probably Nick from your nan's house. And then these are the back doors into the garden. So a little patio area. Obviously we don't have any outdoor furniture because we threw all the old stuff away. Grass shed that has no door on it. And then that goes outside. A mirror, hey, with some laundry hanging up and uni stuff. Yeah, that's pretty much the whole lounge. There she is in all her glory. I mean, to be fair, like considering there's only three of us living here, like it's a pretty, oh, it's a pretty good space. Like the kitchen's big enough for all three of us to be cooking at the same time. Although one of the rings on the hob doesn't work, which is really annoying. But there's a common theme in this house of things not really working. <laughs> um, but yeah, like it's a good sized sofa, obviously a dining table, which not all uni houses have, I've come to learn. Table's also broken, but whatever. Anyway, back down the hallway. So my bedroom is downstairs, which is a bit weird, I will be honest, but whatever, I'll show you it. So yeah, this is the downstairs bedroom, which is mine. So this is obviously my bed. The blankets, I know, I thought it would be cool like throwing them across the bed, but it looks a bit weird. So it's my cat 
Ferrari. <laughs> Because I miss my little Porsche at home. But yeah, this is a very strange bed. Like, you can see how low to the ground it is. And it's shaped like we always call it a racing car bed. Because it's really weird. But, I don't know. It works. Some pin boards. <laughs> this is from the club in London. But I actually need to, like, put some photos and stuff on these. I don't really know what I'm going to put on there. But we'll figure it out. Bedside table. My little grey lamp is from Tesco's. And this little picture of me and my friends at prom that I had in my old uni room and it works. Can you tell my favourite colour scheme? Maybe? <laughs> Bedside table, obviously Ikea, uh, my handbag. This suitcase is normally upstairs, um, you'll see where we keep all of our suitcases and stuff. But I've just been home for the weekend so that's why she's still there. And then this ruins my aesthetic. This is my wardrobe, so it's right like behind the door. If you know me, you'll know I acquire quite a large collection of clothes, like I have quite a lot. And this is a very small wardrobe compared to what I'm used to. I'm not complaining. Just, I've had to like cut down my clothes a lot. <laughs> so, so obviously most of this, these are like hoodies and then crop jumpers. And then obviously dresses. At the bottom of this, I need to explain because this is not always gonna be here. Basically, I didn't have a desk when I moved in. And then after a month of asking my landlord, this is what he came up with. This is the smallest desk I've ever seen in my life. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and get a chest of drawers, like a white chest of drawers that matches the exact same height of the desk so I can kind of just use it as storage because at the moment it's holding all of my makeup and everything which is fine for now but like I'm gonna start uni soon and this stuff is all like actual uni stuff uh, and a PLT package um, that needs to like go in my desk storage but I just don't have any so it's sitting in there for now <sighs> and then on top we've got three storage bins I always get loads of questions about where these are from they're just from Amazon behind the door it's my ring light back of the door we've got my dressing gown and this is like a dust bag but it's my laundry bag anyway then next to the door is this massive chest of drawers obviously ikea again where all my clothes are and on top this is like um a starry thing it looks really cool when it's on except I can't use that plug because that is very dangerous. And also I've lost the remote for it, so I can't change the color, which is really annoying. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know. Loads of toiletries, kind of fake tan, hairspray, moisturizer stuff up here. Uh, drawers, so the top drawer, we've got underwear, obviously. I don't know if I should be showing that, but there it is. Uh, second drawer is all of my tops, kind of organized, so these are like, Little vest tops, you know, the Zara things. These are more like clubbing tops, long sleeves, summery things, corsets, and then like even more inappropriate corsets. <laughs> and then we have jeans, which barely fit in. I can't really shut the door. The door? I can't really shut the drawer. Shorts and loads of skirts piled up. And then in the final one, again, really full, um, Pajama tops, track suits, one of them doesn't fit so she gets laid down there. And then like normal trousers. Then I have this massive window which looks out onto the road. I mean, I like I like the natural light that gets to come into the room. Don't quite like the fact that it literally looks out onto a public street. And then this is my pathetic excuse for a desk, which is just a vanity at the moment. And then this is the drawer. Obviously all my makeup. These storage dividers are also from Amazon. And then next to my desk, I have this big full length mirror from Ikea. Obviously it's gonna go on the wall there, but again, command strip issue. I need to buy some rubbing alcohol to put on the wall first. And then a little shoe rack right down there that has just some trainers that I don't usually wear and boots. And then this thing, which I haven't quite finished decorating, but I wanna make it look a bit prettier than that. But obviously it's got like handbags and perfume and sunglasses and heels. Okay, and then we go up the stairs. And this is the bathroom, shower room. So there's the shower. It's one of those really nice ones. These are very helpful if you need shower storage because they just suction onto the wall. Um, Ikea, very good. Hey, 
Can you tell that girls live here? I mean, this isn't even half of it, to be honest. But this is the bathroom toilet, and then our little extra storage of stuff here. I don't think there's anything else to say about this room. Okay, then this is the second bedroom. So this is Sophie's room. Obviously, they've given me permission to film. She's, again, got a really nice big window. A little pin board up there. Her desk, much better size. Although her chair is just as bad and this is her bed obviously he knew we were coming to live here clearly she's got this massive shelving unit on her wall again chest of drawers with all her stuff in it won't show you that because don't know if she wants you to see and then this is her wardrobe in a cupboard but it's an all right size to be fair it's just annoying that she can't really hang stuff up there and i think that's all i've got to show you about it and then finally, the master bedroom, which is Sophia's. So that's her desk, massive. And then she's got a massive, that same chest of drawers that Sophie has. Again, massive windows. She's a bit more organized and has a shrine to her boyfriend, so we won't look at that. She's a planner, clearly. But can we just have a look at this? Because what, how unfair is this? Look how big this girl's wardrobe is. And then this her little bedside table and her bed. You might be able to notice that her duvet looks a bit small because the girl has been using a single duvet on a double bed for two years now. So I don't really know what she's doing. Okay, and finally on this lovely tour is the reason that we do not have a fourth person living here. Um, wait till you see this lovely bedroom. Obviously it's very tiny and it smells like so grim in here. Uh, probably because of this mattress looks like it's been rotting as does the wall um, the whole thing is like musty and horrible um this looks like it was like made in the 18th century or something i don't know what that is honestly we just keep like our suitcases obviously and ironing board iron drying rack stuff in here and this massive animal that drove one at thought park i mean why did she bring that back i don't know but seriously for like where this house is and how expensive it is i would not be paying anywhere near the rent we're paying to live in this room so when we got the house we just knew we would use it as like storage and it works well for that because where else are our suitcases gonna go you know let's shut that before it smells up the whole house but anyway that is our house i think that's the end of it if you guys have got any questions let me know and i will try and help i don't really know but anyway, we're pretty happy with it. Obviously, there was some very big issues at the beginning, most of which have been sorted now. And yeah, that's it. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And there'll be more uni content coming your way soon. Bye.